Ay. My name's Emma. I'm gonna be unboxing the Kali Oracle today. She's been calling me to work with her for a little while. And now is the time. And her on my altar by my bed from one of my other decks. <clears throat> this is quite a big box, actually, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Nice and wet. Artwork on here. This is forty four cards. It gives you an instruction on on how she came into connection with Carly. <laughs> Carly is not a goddess of half measures. When we are drawn to her, such as you are in choosing this, choosing to connect with this deck. We are at some level recognising that we are destined to undergo significant transformation in this lifetime. Although we may feel willing or even inspired to embrace such healing alchemy, we know that it can be challenging to overcome past patterns and not become lost in confusion and fear. So interesting. I just came up in my last... Ritual on two, 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 second. So, yeah, I haven't known that she's coming in to help me. So, she's, she's no messing. Yeah, it's quite a bit of information there. She tends to appear when there is significant pain. Some people unconsciously associate Carly with its creation, especially as she turns up when with a ferocious countenance. Carly does not create pain, but she does unveil it. Mm. Wow, there's quite a lot here. And there's some notes about Tantra as well. Hmm, interesting sacred work with this deck. I did almost buy the journal to go with it on my left and right. And then there's just a note on pronunciation of the Sanskrit words. A blessing for the deck. Suggested card layouts and healing processes for readings. 
yeah. <laughs> Purification process. A session for sacred surrender. Mm. And then you go into the cards. And there's a ritual as well as an invocation ritual. On each one. Okay. And yeah, I've st I was feeling some resistance, <laughs> but I knew that um, I had to um, have some work to do with her because she showed up before, so yeah. And I think I was right, and there's just some of the other, some of the other decks at the back, so the Isis deck is the other one I was guided to get. Okay, let's have a look. Mm. Okay, so it's a nice matte. Deck. My colours on here are really it's really quite thick cardstock. The colours on here are really, um, really great. Oh, it's just... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really quite powerful. Oh, that is really powerful, that one. Thus, I've got a feeling these. This is going to knock my socks off. This deck. I can just feel the power coming off of them. Ah. <sighs> This is hitting me right in my heart chakra all the way down to my sacral. <laughs> She's quite chatty as well, I can hear her already. Oh, yay. Mm. I can't remember, I, I, I kind of like, I think I connected with this one and I was just looking through the cards. Sure. Mm. I love the lightning on there. We've still got the kind of blue tint of Carly in there. And the Yantras. So it's definitely going to take you deep into kind of some, some ritual and spiritual work with these cards. <laughs> Kind of saying, what did you expect? I wasn't sure whether I was going to like the the imagery on here, but actually, it's it's really beautiful. You can kind of see the brush strokes, and I, I appreciate that being an artist. I thought it was going to be more cartoony, but I like it.
Hmm. It's very medusary, isn't it? Got the snakes on there. I love the colours on these, they're just so vibrant. Okay, I'm glad I got these. Mm. This card stock is really quite thick and amazing. Amanda. And a heart to her, Carleen. That's the heart, heart chakra on them, isn't it? Kalika Tantrika. Arthur of Carly. That's on the masculine side of that dharma. Mm, I'm quite looking forward to working with these now. After that resistance, if you resist. You know you've got to do it. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to go and play with these now. Actually, let's just... Did you want to come and play with Carly as well then? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, is that it? <laughs> yeah. So it's going to cleanse it. So, beloved mother who dwells in the smoke. <laughs> Excellent. Who presides over the most difficult transitions. She who knows that certain endings are unavoidable. 
They are necessary predecessors to radical reinvention. Her presence brings the message that though disappointment, defeat or loss and negative repercussions of such experiences may cause suffering for a time, they will not limit your future happiness. They are a means for opening as yet unrecognised pathways for fulfilment. Your trust must be unconditional at this time and Later you shall see that everything has worked out for the absolute best. Hmm. So she's the seventh of the Mahiv Maharam. I apologise if my pronunciation of this is not good. Mahavidya. Mahavidya. Wisdom goddesses is Duma. Vati. And she is the crone goddess and uniquely in the Hindu context from which she arises, also a widow. Her name means she who is made of smoke. How interesting because I just cleared them with smoke. <laughs> and as the expression goes, where the smoke, where the smoke, there's fire. Dumavati is associated with the profound suffering just as smoke is the polluting and the concealing manifestation of fire, it can be hard to believe there is any divine blessing, hidden or otherwise, when we are in the agonies of intense suffering. In honouring Dumavati, we acknowledge that the suffering is part of life and can develop compassion. Our capacity for kindness is often indirect proportion to the suffering we have oh lord this goes on experienced and processed it as it can grow empathy and wisdom in the soul i don't think i'm going to read all of this some continue to create pain for themselves and others and others alleviate suffering in the world through what they have learned the difference comes from the willingness to face the pro and process the pain Dumavati can help us find the courage to be real about our suffering, neither becoming lost in it nor avoiding it, but rather to go through it and process it. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to... Oh, hang on. Okay, so Dumavati is associated with the most painful aspects of the human existence, ageing, disease, thirst, poverty, hunger, death and ugliness on all levels. This may cause some to fear her and try to push her away. Yet when we are suffering greatly, we can know that she is with us. With her black, smoky skin, she becomes the blackened Madonna, the beloved mother who does not watch are suffering from some remote place in a blissful detachment but is suffering along with us. Oh God, that's made me quite emotional. Our cries resonate in her heart. <laughs> Pull myself together. In our emotional anguish as she is our sacred companion. And her presence can help us bear witness with honesty and courage. Oof. Ooh. Such truth speaking to yourself happens when you could, can admit this is not good for me or I'm not yet sure what or how but something needs to stop yeah i think just recently and around all of this stuff i think i've said enough is enough i'm not playing up with this anymore and i think that's why she's turned up for me and you can see that she is has got that kind of blackened face and the smoke I like very much Black Madonna. I've worked a lot with. 
that I wrote my thesis on it. So the ritual, this is an invocation there. And there's a mantra as well, oh I like this, I like mantras. Om Doom 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 Avati Swaha Jema Kali Jema Oh, that feels very nice. I like the way that feels. That's lovely. Om Doom Swaha Jema Kali Jema. Mm, oh, I like this a lot. Yeah. Divine Mother, healing, change, and compassionate awakening is needed here. That mantra is just lovely. That was really beautiful. I'm quite enjoying looking forward to work with this and I'll um Ooh. Yeah. Hey, thank you. And um lots of love and blessings. Bye for now.